This is a demonstration of the Loci Memory Palace app running on Windows 10 and the Microsoft Mixed Reality Portal. Let's go ahead and start the application. Hey Cortana, launch Loci. All right, starting Loci Memory Palace. One of the first things you'll see in the Loci Memory Palace app is this room here. You'll notice there's a few rooms off each corner and the main room right here. The first thing you'll see is three nodes. The first node, the red node, will allow you to register the product. The second node will launch a demonstration video that goes into more details about Loci Memory Palace as well as its uh, features, usage, and benefits, as well as the benefits behind using three-dimensional virtual reality when working with information in mind maps. The third node will take you to our home page, which also has more information about all our products and the theory behind why we're using virtual reality for our product. Now attached to the green node is an image that has the most used voice commands to leverage our product. And I'll be demonstrating them in this video. Let's start by loading an example that will guide myself and you through the product. Load graph. The load graph command will open a browser window so that you can select a previously saved mind map. A pre-built graph. And we can see relationships between the different objects. Now to make my life a little simpler for this demo, I created like a timeline of the different commands that I want to use from the start to the finish. And so I'll be demonstrating all these commands for you. So the first one I'm going to do is this one. So if I do a select, it gets grabbed and put a meter in front of my face and I can move it where I want. Now I can also walk and, and place it. I'm going to just put it right here using the same command, select, select, placed. And one of the things you have to do is you have to remember to give a little pause between when you're talking and when you make a command. So next thing I'm going to show you is how to freeze and unfreeze a node. You see the little red triangle above the node? That indicates that it's locked. And that means that when you do a layout command, it will not move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the layout command. And then I'm going to show you how everything moves, but the locked or frozen nodes. Layout graph. Layout graph. And you'll notice that everything moved around it. Layout stop. Layout stop. And you'll notice that on my demo, I've got a little red note over there. And the same thing will happen. Select. Select. Placed. Layout graph. Layout graph. And see how smooth that moves? It's really nice. Layout stop. Layout stop. So I've shown you the this command. Now I'm going to do this one. Add node. Name node. Say name. Demo. 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 Select. Say name. Describe node. Descri describe node. My first attempt. Describe node. My first attempt. My my first attempt. And that is the more verbose description of your node. Now the next thing I want to do is do the link command. So I can do link this. Link this. Linking. To that. 
unfreeze node. Now you'll notice that it comes in frozen. Now I'm going to do a command to make everything shift around this layout graph. Layout graph. And that's how that works. Layout stop. Now I'm going to create another node and then do the undo. undo. Actually, let's do the color. Color node blue. Color node blue. Now I'll do the undo command. Uh, undo. Back to green. Now I'm going to do the copy. Copy node. Copied node. Paste node. Pasted node. Color node magenta. And then we've also got link this. Linking. To that. Link this. Linking. To that. It's as simple as that. I appreciate your time to see our product and I hope you enjoy it.